Let's get down to yes. other stories. Action Aid Ghana has handed over a five-bedroom facility to the one municipal health directory to be used as an isolation center for patients infected with COVID-19, describing as appalling that stigmatization of persons with COVID-19. Upper West Regional Programs Manager George Derry at the handing over ceremony explained persons infected with COVID-19 have a greater chance of surviving per the research data available and must therefore be spared all forms of discrimination. Correspondent Rafiq Salam reports from WA. The five-bedroom house was constructed three years ago at a cost of 400,000 Ghana cities by Action Aid Ghana and given out to the WA Municipal Assembly for use as a survival center for victims of domestic violence. With the advent of COVID-19, the disease caused by coronavirus, Action Aid Ghana saw the need to revert the usage of the facility to a holding center. Upper West Region's Programs Manager of Action Aid Ghana, George Dede noted that, considering the magnitude and spread of the disease and the resources required for prevention and containment, should not be left alone on the shoulders of the government. The handing over of the center is the first step of action needs support. We will continue to contribute to diverse actions to make this life meaningful for the poor and the vulnerable, with whom we have worked with in the past three decades. Finally, it's important for us all to understand that people infected with COVID-19 are not condemned to death. They have a greater chance of surviving, according to research data available, and hence their life to a right, their right to a life of dignity must be jealously protected against any form of discrimination. Upper West Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali commended Action Aid Ghana and other benevolent organizations and individuals who have so far supported the region in the COVID-19 pandemic fight. As you may all be aware, government alone cannot shoulder and foot the bills for this fight. That is why Anytime we get the opportunity, we call on organizations and individuals to complement government's efforts. I'm therefore very happy that Action Aid has come to join the organizations that has come to the aid of the region. This facility will definitely be put to good use. Equally happy with the conversion of the survivor center into an isolation center is the one municipal director of health services, Dr. Pascal kinsling -Mene. We have a treatment center within the municipality that has just five beds. And so that means that uh, if we get more and more cases that needs admission, all these beds will be full. And once the beds are full, we we'll would need a second backup. So we are very, very happy that Action 8 has gracefully provided this isolation center for us. And I must say that uh, we will use it judiciously for the intended purpose. That is, all those who are suspected of cases that samples have been taken and requiring self-isolation, which they can't do at home, would be brought here and the needed attention and management care given to them for the betterment and containment of the disease within our municipality. The Upper West Region, as of Thursday, April 30, has recorded 10 cases of COVID-19. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam. Wa